What's shaking bacon? This is Photon here, and I am going to start doing some Super Smash Brothers uh, discussions. So I'm going to start off with an article on um, Challenger Approaching's uh, Tumblr page, and it is very interesting. Yeah, go check them out. They're pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, let's start off. I feel like saying Dark Pit will be an alternate costume, while likely is being a bit hasty. Of course, it's very likely that Dark Pit will be an alternate costume, but believe it or not, it's possible that he could actually be a fighter separate from Pit, as in not even a clone separate. My reason behind this, Dark Pit's signature weapon, and most importantly, the changes to Pit's moveset. Although one of Dark Pit's frequently used weapons is the Silver Bow, which is functions rather similarly to Pitt's Palatina Bow, he's very notable for his other signature weapon, the Dark Pit Staff, which even beyond the name is associated enough with him to have been included with his Figma. Unlike the bow, which is focused on mid-range with slashing at close range, the Dark Pit Staff is the equivalent of a sniper rifle functioning as a club at close range. Simply giving Dark Pit to Dark Pit staff would almost completely change his melee attacks and would probably significantly change the properties of his neutral V, such as making the projectile faster and more powerful at the cost of not being able to curve the shots. Another thing that is significant, bleh, another thing that is, significant is that several changes were made to Pit himself that make Dark Pit more likely. One of the changes made to Pit in the upcoming installment is his arrow, arrow ability. He can no longer glide and his flight was changed from the relatively free flight from melee to a dash similar to Lucario's. Now one of the biggest differences between Pit and Dark Pit is actually their flight ability. Unlike Pit, for most of the game, Dark Pit can fly under his own borrowed power. Afterwards, briefly getting help from Veridi, who is also represented in the game, um, it is entirely possible that Dark Pit would have the normal Pit's old fighting and recovery move, as unlike Pit, he wouldn't have to rely on Palatina, who is now a fighter herself, to use them. Another change to Pit's moveset that helps Dark Pit is the fact that Pit now uses weapons from Uprising in addition to his bow. Quite noticeably, none of these items are ones associated with Dark Pit, even though the ones um, Dark Pit uses are for the most part some of the most iconic of their given types. Dark Pit uses the Beginner Blade, the Ogre Club, um, the Violent Palm, the EC Cannon, and as previously mentioned, the Silver Bow and Dark Pit Staff. Excluding the bow, the two types of weapons Dark Pit doesn't use are conveniently the two that are now in normal Pit's moveset, the Arms and Orbitures. Dark Pit even has a reasonable Final Smash, which is the lightning, which could be the Lightning Chariot that he uses um, to attack Hades near the end of the game. Frankly, I feel that the only thing that hurts his chances of being his own character rather than an alternate costume is the fact that he basically looks like, well, a Dark Pit. Although, change, although changing the bow to the Dark Pit staff would certainly help, it's, the changes uh, couldn't be made to his posture, the fact that Dark Pit still visually bears a stronger than the Pit, which would give him a, a fairly similar silhouette, and potentially make it confusing for players to tell immediately which ones they're fighting, especially when alternate palettes come into play. This isn't a deciding factor, however, as there have been several characters bearing strong similarities in overall appearances and silhouette before, even if most of them were clones. Even if most of them were clones. Um, so yeah, I mean that's... That sounds very... that's some pretty good evidence right there. Um, I'd also like to point out that during the demo, um, uh, the Smash Bros. demo, 
um, at Smash Fest and at E3, Pit did not have a black um, palette swap. And um, now the only thing is that, of course, um, there wasn't wireframe back there either. But um, I mean, yeah, so um, yeah, he'd be a really cool fighter and. Um, you know, Sakurai is, he's, uh, he's now pretty much the head of the Kid Icarus games, so, I mean, he could do something. I mean, he said before that, uh, that, um, just because he works on Kid Icarus and Kirby doesn't mean they have any special consideration for a bunch of characters. Or he doesn't have any love, uh, he doesn't have a certain love for his characters. He's trying to make it all bounce, but, I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's all about, that's about all I have to say. Um, I'd actually really like to have Dark Pit in Super Smash Bros. now. Um, he's probably on my top 10 list now, but, um, I'm not gonna make another video. I've made too many of those <laughs> videos. Um, so yeah. Um, what do you guys think? Um, you know, Dark Pet, he, he was shown in the Palutena teaser, and then he was shown in the, um, Palutena, um, promotional art. I mean, that's gotta mean something, like, what could that mean? It has to, you can't just be in those, in that art for no reason. It just doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, um... Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed, like, um, before I end off, um, like, for Dark Pit, for his, um, alternate colors, I think they could have, um, just kind of like Pikachu, where, like, he doesn't change colors at all, he just gets, like, got, like, Pikachu just gets, like, goggles and hat and stuff, they could do that in some sort of way for Dark Pit, but, yeah, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like, comment, favorite, share, whatever. <laughs> um, this is Photon, signing out.